Hello, my name is Teacher Mike, and I'm here to tell you a story. But before that, I want to know, who among you are brave? Right, that's good to know. But even if we are brave, there are things that, that might scare us, right? Can you tell me things that scare you? Well, thank you for sharing your fears. I myself have my own fears. Sometimes I'm scared of the dark. I'm also scared of rats or mice. But have you ever been scared of a monster? Well, whether you are scared of them or not, today we are going to find out what happens when a monster is born. This book was written by Sean Taylor and the drawings or the illustrations were created by Nick Sharrett. This was also published in 2006. Can you guess how old the book is? Right, it's around 14 years old. When the Monster is Born by Sean Taylor and Nick Sharrett. When a monster is born, there are two possibilities. Either it's a far away in the forest monster or it's an under your bed monster. If it's a far away in the forest monster, that's that. But if it's an under your bed monster, there are two possibilities. Either it eats you or you make friends and take it to school. If it eats you, that's that. But if you take it to school, there are two possibilities. Either it sits quietly, does its homework, and becomes the first monster to play for the school basketball team, or it eats the principal. If it sits quietly, that's that. But if it eats the principal, there are two possibilities. Either it growls yummy and dance and dances the boogie boogie, or it growls sorry and walks off through the wall. If it dances the boogie woogie, well, that's that. But if it walks off, there are two possibilities. Either it sits in the park and scratches its head. Or, it takes a deep breath and sets off for the faraway forests. If it sits in the park, that's that. But if it sets off for the faraway forests, there are two possibilities. Either it finds an expensive hotel on the way and decides to sleep in it, or it goes around the back of the hotel finds a broken umbrella, and decides to sleep under that. If it sleeps in the expensive hotel, that's a that. But if it sleeps under the umbrella, there are two possibilities. Either a kitchen girl comes out and tips a saucepan of porridge over the monster's head, or a kitchen girl notices the monster and stops in her tracks. If the kitchen girl tips porridge over the monster's head, that's that. But if the kitchen girl stops in her tracks, there are two possibilities. Either the monster gives her the fright of her life, roar, and she runs off shouting, help, 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 or the monster gives her a rose and they fall in love. If the girl runs off shouting, help, 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 that's that. But if they fall in love, there are two possibilities. Either she kisses the monster and it turns into a handsome young man, or it kisses her and she turns into a monster. If the monster turns into a handsome young man, that's that. But if the girl turns into a monster, there are two possibilities. Either the monster says, Ugh, you look horrible now. 
or the monster says, Look, I'm a monster. You're a monster. Let's get married. If the monster says, Ugh, that's that. But if the monster says, Let's get married, there are two possibilities. Either the two of them live happily together and have a baby monster, or what do you think is the other possibility? Let's find out. They eat each other. If they eat each other, that's that. But if they have a baby monster, there are two possibilities. Either it's a faraway in the forest's monster, or it's an under your bed monster. The end.